Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Billy Hoya. I'm one of the librarians here at Lone Star North Harris uh, Library. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do some data moshing and glitch art using uh, AVI DMOX here. Um, this, uh, this is a companion video to a libguide that we have um, at the library's website and I'll have a link on in the description to uh, talk a little bit about it. Um, and that guide is actually based off of um, Antonio Roberts' uh, website here. He does a really good, uh, he goes into a lot of detail and he also shows how to do some uh, different effects here. Uh, it's a really good website, check it out. And also check out uh, Bob Wise uh, uh, data moshing video because it's uh, kind of funny and it's got some good information in it too. Uh, so let's go on and get started here. Uh, so what is data moshing? Or well, let's step back one and ask what is glitch art? Glitch art is where you, um, you either purposely cause a fa fault uh, in hardware or software, or you um, take advantage of a fault that's already there or uh, to uh, cause a glitch that hopefully creates something of uh, artistic value. Or maybe it's not artistic value. Maybe you think you just like it, so whatever. Um, you'll see this, you know, there have been people who have hacked, um, you know, different uh, old console systems to use them for different music devices. Um, and uh, uh, sometimes like those old uh, Casio keyboard things, uh, like you might uh, see in the store. People have hacked those to do different music projects with those. Um, there's also um, sort of a subset of this, data moshing, where you actually go and mess with the saved data in a file to, um, to cause a glitch in such a way that it changes the picture one way or another. And so we're gonna do some data moshing here uh, with uh, some video. Let me show you an example of uh, a little data mosh thing that uh, I did here. So I'm gonna play you the video. So this is from our, our welcome video. Uh, you may have seen this video um, in, um, you may have seen this video if you've done our research relay um, or uh, some of our other classes. We use this sort of just to, um, you know, uh, introduce some of the librarians that we have here. It's a very straightforward video. Um, you can see here, you have Christine, and then we cut over and we have one of our 3D printers going and some other stuff happening. Um, so what I did was um, I did a little data moshing on this. And so this is what the uh, video looks like after this, just like that. So you may have seen this. I know there's uh, a couple of rappers that have used this um, technique in their videos. If you watch uh, anything like uh, Off the Air on Cartoon, on uh, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network, um, you may have seen this, uh, they use this as a transition uh, in some of their clips there. Uh, so it's kind of a, a, an effect that uh, you may have seen out in the wild there. So, so let's show you how to do this. So I have another clip from that same video and I'm gonna show this to you here. So this is just a clip, uh, Katie McGinnigan, one of our librarians, and then transitions over to, to Megan Hopwood here. Um, we're gonna mosh this video up a little bit here. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is with a program called uh, AVI DMUX. Um, if you go to our guide, we have a little link to it that shows you um, where to uh, uh, download this and install all this. And um, the main way we're gonna to uh, to, to create this effect is we're gonna take out um, the keyframes or iframes from the video. Um, when, you, uh, when you have a, a video in a, a lossy format, so like MP3, I mean MP4 or, or um, some of the other uh, uh, video codecs, um, it doesn't completely store every bit of information on every frame. So um, you have these frames called iframes um, that have the complete picture. And then in between those iframes, you have these frames called p-frames, which only contain data where uh, 
that only contain the parts of the picture that have changed, right? Um, by taking out the iframes, the, uh, the, the video, we can cause these glitching, this, uh, these errors in the decoding that causes uh, those frames to kind of hold and uh, do that. So let's go on and do that here. So I've got a uh, ABI DMUX up. Um, let's go on and open uh, this clip uh, that we have here. Um, now, one of the things that I did, uh, let's see, I've got it uh, here. So um, you can see here, um, in this clip, I've actually taken out the transition. So in the original one, it had a little uh, wipe transition here, like so. Um, you'll find when you're doing this, you, if you have, if you're using a video that you've already edited, um, you may want to take out those transitions because uh, that'll, like, when you have a, a, ver a movement like that, it uh, completely uh, redraws the screen. Um, so it's better to just have like a smash cut between two scenes to, um, to get the effect that we're looking for here. So let's go on. So I'm going to open this clip up in uh, AVI DMUX here. So let's navigate to that clip. Do, 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 do. Here we are. And I'm going to pick this clip here. And so you can see I can uh, go on and I can play it and we have the clip here. So at this point, you could go through, if you wanted to, you could actually go through and um, delete the iframes. So if you look down here, it'll actually tell you what kind of frame. Uh, so you can see usually the video starts, the first video uh, frame is an iframe. And then as we go through, um, I didn't really, uh, so there are these other frames called B frames. Um, they're kind of like the, the P frames uh, too. Uh, but we're not going to really do too much with them here. Um, if you go to um, uh, Robert's uh, uh, um, website there, he actually does some different effects where he actually uh, messes with the, the P-frames here. Um, but right now we're only really concerned with the, the P-frames and I-frames. Now you could go through here and you could find all those um, I-frames and you could delete them, but there's a whole mess of them in here. And we really just want um, maybe like one or two iframes and then uh, P frames in here. So we're going to tell uh, AVI DMUX to create the, to recreate this video with just uh, those, um, just those frames. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to select uh, this one here, uh, MPEG-4, right? Like that. And then uh, we're going to click on configure and we're going to click on frame. And so down here, we want to get rid of all the B frames. So we're going to say zero. And then down here on the I frames, we want to make this just a, a crazy size. So we want a minimum, we want a zero over here on a GOP size. And then maximum, we just want, you can just put all nines in there. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to hit OK. And then the rest of this, we can pretty much uh, leave the same. And so now we're going to click Save. And I'm just going to go on and leave it uh, like that. Uh, let's go back here and save this here in our folder that we're working here. So we can just, we can just leave that like it is. And we're going to hit Save. It's a little weird. Um, let's go on and see if this worked okay. So we're gonna go on and close. I find that you need to close uh, AVI DMUX before you open it again uh, because uh, sometimes it doesn't work very well, but we'll go on and close it and reopen. And so let's find that clip that we just made. And if we go through here, so we can see now all these are, uh, we have an iframe up here to start. And then if we scroll through this, like so, there's probably just one more iframe, right, where we change over to that. And then we do, uh, it looks like that's it. 
So if we play this video now, let's just go here real quick. I'm going to play this video for you just so you can see what it looks like. And I'm just going to play it. So it still looks pretty much the same as it did before because we got that one iframe that resets the, uh, the motion here in between. Um, let's go on and take out that iframe and see what happens. Oops, that's the wrong thing here. There we go. So to take out the iframes, what you're going to do is um, there is a button down here that you can go to. So if you click this, you can use this to, to go, oops, I'm sorry, wrong one. It's actually this, this button here. So if you go, you can use these buttons. So if you have, um, if you're actually editing the video and you're trying to get rid of those iframes, you can use these guys here to, uh, to find those iframes uh, if there's any left in there. Um, there's just this one right here. So I'm gonna go to that iframe. And then to select this iframe to delete, first you go here, there's a little button. It kind of looks like a red A, it's a start marker. So you click that. And then you can use the arrow keys or um, one of the buttons down here to advance the frame. But I'm just gonna use the arrow, arrow key here. So you just advance it one frame and then hit that uh, end marker and then hit delete. And it'll give you this uh, warning, just go on and say yes. All right. So now that we've done that, we can go back here and you can see that just goes straight into a P-frame, like so. So now we are going to save this video. So let's go on and click save. And um, we can leave this, uh, so let's do, I'm gonna change this to uh, clip like so, and then we are going to hit save. It's gonna give you this, uh, this error message. It's warning you, hey, there's no keyframes. This is gonna screw stuff up, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go on and say yes. You know, tell us it was successfully made. And now if we go down here, we're gonna find uh, Katie Megan glitch. If we go on and click that, we should see that same sort of effect there, just like that. So that's just a really quick, quick um, how to do uh, that sort of uh, data moshing there. Um, a few things, you can do video editing in uh, AVI DMUX, but um, I, I don't like doing it in here. Um, you may want to prep your clip in something like a shot cut or um, uh, open shot uh, to get it ready. Um, if you just have a, a bunch of a series of clips, you can uh, use the append on here to just add them one after the other after you uh, remove all of the uh, iframes that you want to get rid of. All right, so that's doing a little bit of uh, DM washing with uh, AVI DMX. Check out our guide, check out some of those other links that I told you about there. I'll have them in uh, the description there to help you out. All right, cool.